Last year, I continued to struggle with a few bad habits. And so I spent months and months trying to figure out, hmm, what's the actual solution to this? Because I'm sick of hating myself. I'm sick of feeling rubbish. I'm sick of being ill-disciplined. And I want to live a happier, healthier life in 2023. And so in this video, I'm going to be talking about just five habits that you can you know, implement straight away that are going to really help you quit porn and quit any other bad habit as well. So without further ado, number one, meditation. Meditation is absolutely essential, not just in terms of the actual impact it has on the brain and the chemistry, the neuroscience, but just in becoming more aware and a little detached from our thoughts because we have about 7,000 thoughts a day. It's a lot of thoughts. And yet many of them can be from the past. Many of them can be very irrational. Many of them can lead to some very negative feelings and hatred of ourselves. And we want to really sort of see those thoughts as something a little further away, a bit more distant and not get so involved in them, especially if we're trying to quit porn, because we're going to have cravings, we're going to have urges, we're going to have thoughts about looking at sexual content. And instead of being overwhelmed by those thoughts, we can see them for what they are, which is just a temporary thought. And we can see our sensations, our urges as temporary as well. So meditation is really, really important. I would recommend doing it every single day in the morning, around 10 to 20 minutes after you've woken up. So you just sit down, choose a chair, choose somewhere to sit, make sure you have a very specific location that you're gonna sit, choose a time that you're gonna meditate for, and then choose how you are going to go about your meditation. And then just do it every day, get a journal and write down, meditate for however long you wanna meditate for, tick it off each day, make it a habit and stick to it all year round. My personal goal is 20,000 minutes of meditation. That works out around an hour a day, every day this year. I've already started off with three hours in the first two days, which is helping me get a little bit ahead with my meditation target. And I am feeling good. I'm feeling happy and healthy. And it really, really does help me because no matter what's going on externally, I know I always have my breath. I always have that to the, the, <laughs> that bit didn't go so well. Um, I always have my breath to return back to and, and that feels good. Okay, number two is journaling. Every single day, grab yourself a journal. Last year, I talked about my journaling a lot and this one, this year I've got my 2023 journal again, which I absolutely love. This is a game changer. You know, I write down my goals every day, like six goals in here every day, talk about how I'm feeling. And again, it's just so, so useful to have because it will help you direct your life in the direction that you want to go. And you don't want to write about stuff you want to avoid in your journal. You want to write about the things that you actually want. Focus on what you do want, not on what you don't want. Okay. And on that note, number three, set yourself some goals. If you want to set yourself some goals and you don't really know how, I have a really good little template for how you can set your goals. And it starts with identifying your values first. And so on your screen now, you can see around 80 values. Now pick five of these values and then think about what goals you can create centered around your five values because you want your goals to be meaningful. So often in the past, I'd have goals around maybe like making money or like some kind of um, external goal which wasn't really related to who I am as a person it didn't really connect me with other people it didn't really connect me with my values and so I really do believe you should start with your values first and then once you have identified your goals you set them have um, write it down somewhere definitely write it down and then come up with a really really solid process for how you will go about achieving those goals I like to use a what, when method. So you write down what you will do to achieve those goals and then when you will do it, fill those uh, boxes in and, and then go ahead and do it. And that's as simple as that, okay? Number four would be to delete social media. Um, social media can be very distracting. I think you get too much sort of dopamine from it. You're comparing yourself to others or at least I have done in the past. 
and really it just doesn't help me achieve what I want to achieve in life. Um, so I still have some social media, but I've at least deleted the apps from my phone and I'll only really be going on social media when I actually need to, to either post something or to communicate with friends or to set up events for uh, certain things in my community uh, near, near me in real life, like on Facebook. But other than that, nah, there's not really much point in social media as far as I'm concerned. I really don't buy into like the following and liking people. It's really just objectifying people, um, which is not something I really want to be a part of at all. Um, anyway, number five, or what should we go for number five? I'm going to say create something. Create something that you've maybe never created before. So I think creating this video right now is really, really useful for me in terms of like just my overall well-being, just creating something. It feels good to create something, right? I've used that word a lot in the last like 10 seconds, but honestly, this sort of sexual energy, which can often lead to us looking at porn, is a very creative energy. And I'll tell you why. Think about what that is really meant for. Like we have evolved to have this sexual energy so we can create other human beings. And that is a very, very powerful energy. The fact that you are created by the sexual energy means that it is powerful. Like it's literally created a human being. That's incredible. That's magnificent. And humans have created such amazing things. And so we want to use this energy in a productive way to actually create things that we want to see in the world. And I think we kind of can easily get caught up in this like cycle of thinking where we think that the world's there and it's like being created for us and then we have to respond to it in a certain way and like society and like blaming society for all kinds of things but like yeah there is like the powerful and you know like the top one percent have so much more money than everyone else and you have the media and all of this but in my opinion we have so much more power to actually create and transform and change our life and the lives of those around us then we're often told we have i think people tend to think that we don't but but no we actually have a lot of like ability and potential to change the world and create whatever we want you know you can create whatever you want you really really can and there's evidence through like millions of people who are being creative and creating cool stuff in the world they're proving that and there's literally no reason why you can't do the same. So go ahead and create something. Maybe it's like a, a piece of music that you really want to create. It's a YouTube video like myself. Go ahead and do that or whatever it is. It can be in your job as well. If there is a side uh, place where you can be creative, then, then go ahead and, and be creative. I, I think that's really important. And especially in 2023, when things are getting a bit more centered around like money and numbers and um, I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't know what it is, but like, there's a lot of there's a lot of problems in 2023. But I think you can still focus on what you can control and not on what you can't. So they're my top five tips. So I hope they're useful. Um, I would go over them again now, but I I honestly can't remember them because they were kind of just off the top of my head, really. Um, but yeah, I hope you have an amazing 2023. Stay tuned for a lot of content this year. My aim is to post two times per week, every single week. I go to Egypt next week, so maybe not next week, so maybe not every single week, but maybe. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, okay. Thank you so much for following me. Thanks for liking this video. If you have done, I really, really appreciate it. I genuinely do. And I hope you're going to have an amazing, amazing rest of your day and a brilliant rest of your year.